<coughs> the first thing you're gonna have to do is uh, you're gonna have to click on GarageBand and yeah you're gonna click on GarageBand um, this is the new version anyways because this computer is like two months old wait for it to load and what you're gonna have to do is click on new project and make sure it's on voice and you click create and then right after you're gonna have to hit you have to pick a name for it just put auto tune or whatever and uh, yeah and then once you're finished typing in auto tune you click create create yep so now what you have to do is that you get this and in the bottom left hand corner you get a plus button you click that and this will pop up. You click real instrument because you're going to be working with your voice and you click create. So now you have this popped up. So now you're going to go to edit. I mean, you're going to go click vocals and no effect. Yeah, and uh, that's, that's that. Now you go to edit right there. Click edit. And then you click on uh, that thing to make sure it comes in when you do the auto tune. And you put this all the way to negative 30. You put the gate all the way to negative 30 dB. Make sure it's negative 30. And just fool around with it after you. You click compressor, the same thing. And this time you're gonna put you're gonna put vocal compression wrap. It's important. And uh, yeah, you're gonna add uh, you just click continue. So now you're gonna add another effect. You're gonna add distortion. So you click add effect right there. You click distortion, right there, <clears throat> and you click on the thumbnail right there. Hold up, right here. Yeah, you click on that, and and you turn the drive to 4.0 dB. 4.0 dB. I'm oh, sorry. I'm doing a little voiceover and I forgot. Uh, yeah. 4.4 dB and now you're gonna add uh, another effect called chorus so you do the same thing you click chorus and then you're gonna click thumbnail and this time you're gonna turn the intensity you're gonna turn the intensity you go all the way to the left and you click you put it on 1% yeah 1% exit of that so now you're gonna go to the bottom right hand corner on the master echo and you're gonna put it to 15%. It's pretty hard to get it on the on the spot. See, it's 14% for me. All right, and now you're gonna put the master reverb to 35%. Yeah, 35. <clears throat> so now, uh, what you're gonna do? Go to the bottom left hand corner, right next to the plus button. There's a scissors with. It's called editing. You click on that. And you go to uh, enhance tuning right here, and you put it to the max all the way to the right. And you click on limit to key. Make sure you click that. Now on the bottom, you're gonna click this. You're gonna you're gonna move it from measure to project. And now you're gonna put you're gonna click that, and you're gonna put F and minor. So it's gonna be F minor. So now you're going to click the editing again to make this part go away. Yep. So now you're ready for uh, doing your auto-tune. Just click on the record button on the bottom and you're all set. Okay, um, this is how it's going to sound with auto-tune. So you're going to click play right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just press pause and my voice is horrible. So you go back right here, and you just click play. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's uh, pretty much it. That's auto tune. I would do more, but I don't have that much time. So thanks for watching, and see you.